morning is the microphone. There it is. Good morning, everybody. It's good to see everybody here this morning. Uh, we have no idea what happened with the uh, opener video there or what's going on with any of the technology, but that's okay because we have a lot of things that we need to talk about real quick to get our attention uh, to some of the events that are coming up here pretty soon for all of us here at DCC. We're glad that you're joining us online. For everybody in the room, of course, we're glad that you're here. And if you're a guest with us this morning, we just want to say welcome. We want to say hello to you because we are glad that you decided to spend part of your Sunday morning with us. My name is Derek Terry. I'm the senior pastor here at Dunville Christian Church. And today we get the pleasure of hearing from our care and missions director, Mr. Michael Monday. So if you would give him a hand and welcome him today as he's going to be speaking. We're excited about that, and last week you got to hear from Pastor Matt, and uh, I know that uh, it's the vacation time for a lot of people. We're coming off fall break, and so if you're joining us online because you're still fall breaking it, you know, just the last hour, last minute before Monday, well, good for you. We're, we're glad that you're able to do that. But we've got a lot of events coming up that we would love for you to get connected to, and one of the main things that we want to talk about, um, October the uh, 16th, which is next Sunday, the 16th, we are having a combined service next Sunday. So it's going to be Dunville Christian Church and our Dunville Spanish Christian Church brothers and sisters who meet at 2 p.m. on Sundays are going to be with us. We're all going to be in the sanctuary together. We're all going to have a big time with this. We are having lunch after the fact, after service. It's going to be a chili lunch. It is a potluck lunch. And so if you would like to uh, bring something, we would love for you to let us know by signing out or signing in on the piece of paper there at the Welcome Center in the foyer. Let us know what you are willing to bring. There's a whole list of things there. You can just chime in on uh, what you want to bring to to help you know serve with everybody next Sunday. So we're looking forward to that. Pastor Marino and I are going to be presenting something uh, as uh, for our Sunday morning service. Got a great service plan for you, and that's going to be exciting. But then um, one of the things I do also want to talk about that began in October is the registration for Connections Groups. Connections groups. How many of you received a card last week? They were passed out to everybody who came in the building last week. We have them. Nobody got one? <clears throat> okay. All right. So on the Welcome Center, there are cards that we will get to you as you leave today. We're going to hand those out to you as you leave. And there's a QR code on those cards. And uh, all you got to do is scan it with your smartphone. It's going to send you to a registration link for connections groups. What are connections groups? Well, connections groups are your best next step to connect with people here at DCC. And we're looking forward to this as we're going to launch these groups in January around three uh, missions, if you will, or three purposes within these groups. The first purpose is for you to socialize. We want you to at least once a month with your group, this is a year commitment in a group, at least once a month to meet with your group for socialization, for prayer time, for just sharing and doing life together because we believe that life's better connected. And then we're going to ask you three times throughout the year to hold a Bible study with your group, and, and the groups get to choose what they're going to study. It's, it's a good, good time there. And then at least one month out of the year, your group will commit to serving on Sunday morning. And so these three things are, are very important for us and important for our fellowship and, and together. And so we want you to get involved with the Connections Group. So we're launching those in January. So we'll get those cards to you at the end. Also, uh, October the 13th is the Save the Date for UCSS, our Uganda Counseling Support Services partners, uh, Ronnie Kaluuya and, and the rest of the gang who have created this amazing mission organization that reaches into the heart of Uganda to the villages, remote areas of Uganda, and helps to completely change everything to make themselves self-sufficient through farming, through nu nutritional needs, through medicine, through education, through clean water, uh, evangelism. There's just so many amazing things happening with that. All you got to do is go to ugandacss.org and you can uh, sign up for this uh, virtual vision banquet that they're having on the 13th and you can watch it from the comfort of your own home. It's a great opportunity. If you want to know more about one of our global mission partners, we encourage you to check in on that. And then coming up at the end of October, of course, is our annual trunk or treat. And so this is a community event to create a safe environment for kids and for adults to, to dress up in their costumes. And we always have a big time with this. It's a lot of fun. And then passing out candy to the community. Over the past couple years, we've seen this event grow to three to 400 kids that come through this line. And so we have a, a big turnout for this. It's from 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock on October the 30th. And we need your help. What's that mean? We need you to dress up. We need you to show up. We need you to help with guest services. You can set up a booth that has candy. You can help us to, to engage with the community. And this is going to be a lot of fun. We do this each year, and, and we've had a big time with this. So make sure that you make yourself available on October the 30th. And then tomorrow, we have something immediate coming up. As many of you know, we have invested in the Casey County Food Pantry. 
And uh, the Case County Food Pantry helps to distribute food to the county. And we distribute food to about 620 families twice a month through annual commo- or monthly commodities distribution and then also through a mobile food pantry. Tomorrow is a very large food distribution. If I saw the numbers correct, I'm thinking it's somewhere around 30,000 pounds. Is that right? 30,000 pounds of food that we're going to be distributing between 9 and 11 o'clock tomorrow at the Ag Expo Center. Volunteers, <clears throat> for anybody who's available, anybody that's retired, this is a great opportunity for you. Maybe in transition between jobs, at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, we will be at the Ag Expo Center uh, getting all this food prepared so that we can hand it out to the community. And uh, we're looking forward to that. And if you'd love to help, just let us know. Just show up, 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, certain Monday mornings, and we can let you know about that. I believe that's about it except for the fact that if there's anything today that you see or hear, anything that you experience, maybe through the words on the screen, the songs that you're going to sing, maybe through a time of communion and sharing in that communion with each other, or maybe through the message with with Mr. Michael, that perhaps today if there's something in your heart that begins to stir, begins to turn, and it leads you to want to take your next best step, then we would love to help you with that. For some of you, maybe it's just, you know, you just keep coming. You just keep showing up and hearing the good news about Jesus. For some of you, it may be taking a step in your faith because now you believe that Jesus is your Savior, and maybe it's time for you to be baptized. Or maybe for some of you, it's, it goes even further than that. Maybe it's taking a step into a group or, or serving on, on a service team or volunteer team here at the church. Whatever it may be, we want to help you take that next step. We'll be with you every single step of the way, okay? All right, well, let's stand. We're going to pray, and then we're going to get started. Oh, nope, sorry. Stay seated. I'm getting ahead of myself. There's a stack of books over here. Let's see, there are nine of them. And we've already been through this once this year with our baby dedication. We set up a baby dedication Sunday, and we had about ten babies on this stage. And today, we have nine more. Can you believe that? Nineteen for the year so far. That's incredible. So here's what we're going to do real quick, and I'm sorry, I totally spaced out on that. Um, we're going to invite you, parents, if you, have, uh, if you have your baby here with you this morning and you'd like to be part of this, we've got some, some gifts here for you. We're going to invite you up on the stage at this time, and we're just going to line you up across this stage here. We're going to ask that Greg and, and Chad come down as well. And uh, we want to show, go ahead, come on up. We, what's that? Yeah, come on. Grandparents, parents, whoever wants to come up with the, the babies, come on up here. It's all right. Make your way down here. We're just going to line up across the stage here. We want to put you on full display to make you as uncomfortable as possible, right, for many people. But we know that in that, um, in that uncomfortableness, if you will, discomfort, there is some pride that takes place. There is some joy that takes place on the face of parents and grandparents alike when they're able to put their uh, new babies on display. And, and some that are a little bit older. I think we have a couple that are two years old. We might have missed them in the past, or maybe they're new, but we want to put them on display this morning for you to see. And one we have here that's not with us this morning, and I don't know if you know uh, Greg Blakeman or not, and his wife, Sarah. Sarah. Sarah, Sarah and Greg, but they have adopted a young lady who will be coming into their family very soon in October, Halloween time, October 28th. You're here permanently in Casey County at that point, right? You are. Greg's already been here. He teaches at Liberty Elementary, and we're glad to have them as well, and we're happy for them with this new addition with their family as well. So we're going to go down the line here. We're going to introduce grandparent, parent, and baby, and I'll let them do that because I don't want to get the names wrong, of course. So this is Miss Sheila Wilson. And this, and this is Kennedy Grace Stevens. Miss Kennedy Grace Stevens. This is Greg. <laughs> Chad. He brought Chad. This is Mr. Chris. Who do you have with you, Chris? Got Lucas and Lainey and my wife, Felicia. Lucas and Lainey and his wife, Felicia. So welcome. This is amazing for you guys as well. We've met Sarah and Greg. And tell us your name. Madeline. Madeline. Where's Miss Madeline from? California. She's from California. All right. Local adoption. That's wonderful. (laughs) That's great. Tony. Tony, who do we have up here this morning? Well, I'm Mr. Tony. Well, I'm sorry. I'm in school mode. And this is Miss Selena Marie Paz and my beautiful wife, Erin. Miss Selena and Miss Erin, congratulations to you all. All right, who do we have here this morning? We have Mr. Juan with us. Well, this is Juan and Michaela, and we have Oliver, Kai, Sierra, and, and Sierra. Oliver and Sierra. Oliver and Sierra. Let's give all these families a big round of applause. We're so happy for them. 
Each one of them, if you didn't know, what we do each year, I'm going to borrow yours, Tony, for a minute, is we give them the Jesus Storybook Bible. It's one of the most amazing children's Bibles that we've found. It's a great story uh, that depicts Jesus in every single story of Scripture. So the Jesus Storybook Bible, and it explains how the rescuer, right, is, uh, is, is present in every story in Scripture. And it's beautiful to, to be able to read to your children so that they can begin to understand and see that throughout their life. All right, well, I'm going to have Mr. Greg pray, if you don't mind. And we're going to, uh, we'll get started with worship afterwards. Father God in heaven, Lord, we just humbly come to you today to thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. And dear Heavenly Father, it is a very, very wonderful day today to be able to stand on the stage with this group of blessings, dear Heavenly Father, that you have blessed their parents with and that you have blessed this church with. And Lord, we're, for that, we are so thankful. Dear Heavenly Father, it's our prayer that, dear Heavenly Father, that each and every one of these little blessings be raised in a manner that's pleasing unto you and that, Lord, that they will go on to be disciples and uh, not only be disciples but make disciples. Now, dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you watch over them, that you keep them safe, you keep them healthy. And, dear Heavenly Father, I just pray for the parents and grandparents as they as they journey through life with these little ones. Now, Lord, I ask that you watch over each and every one of us and that you forgive us of our many sins. And I pray this in your Son, Jesus, most holy and precious name. Amen. All right, let's stand. We'll get ready for worship. Grandparents, parents, thank you very much for being here this morning. church as we continue we're going to sing this morning we've got four songs playing for you and each one of these songs has a special message with it the first one just starts off with he is he is that's where we've got to begin with everything that happens in our lives with our families with our careers with everything we need to know that our heavenly father he is right and that jesus is and he's here so let's sing out this morning together Sing it out. If you're troubled, heavy hearted, come to Jesus and find your peace. If you run down, empty handed, just come to Jesus and find your peace. Sing it out. He is hope for the hopeless, rest for the weary, help for the hurt, and He is, He is. Man in the broken, bear in the burden, all that you need. In the darkness, just come to Jesus and find your way. If you want freedom, need forgiveness, just come to Jesus and find His grace. with us comfort and console the prince of peace 
author and maker of everything, defender, deliverer, king of kings, he is, he is, helper and healer forevermore, savior and shelter through every storm, my refuge, redeemer and lord of lords, he is, he is, child of heaven and son of man provider protector the great i am alpha omega beginning and then he is he is oh for the hopeless rest for the weary hell for the hurt are everything church so now that we sing about who he is to us and what he will be to us and what he will continue to dwell in us let's sing about the promises of God God's promises you can just read about them for one thing in a holy book and you're gonna stand firm every single time so let's continue to sing this morning We go sing it. God of Abraham, you're the God of covenant, of faithful promises. Here we go. Time and time again, you are proven. You'll do just what you say. Though the storms may come and the winds may blow, I'll remain steadfast. And let my heart learn when you speak a word, it will come to pass. Sing it out. Great is your faithfulness to me. Here we go. Great is your faithfulness. From the rising sun till the setting sun, I will praise your name. Great is your faithfulness to me. From age to age, do the earth may pass away, your word remain the same. Yeah. Your history can prove that it's nothing you can do. You're faithful and true. Though the storms may come and the winds may blow, I'll remain. Come on, church, don't hold anything back this morning. And let my heart learn when you speak a word, it will come to pass. Cause great is your faithfulness to me. Till the same, I will praise your 
y'all transition into this the bridge of this song and it says that I put that we put our faith in Jesus because he is the anchor that holds us to the ground so when we sing this out we're gonna sing it four times and just let it all go we have all kind of energy we're praising our God so let's sing it out I put my faith in Jesus my song don't put a smile on your face that we need to reconsider what God is in our lives sometimes we we think and we stop and we're just like man he's greater than I thought he was you know have you find yourself in that position sometimes yes we're humans and sometimes we doubt but let's not doubt this morning because God is greater than anything than anything that's in this world. Speak to me when the silence filled my voice. You understand me. Come on, sing it out. You understand me. Just come to me in the valley of unknown. You understand me. You understand me, cause you understand me, God. You understand me. We're gonna sing that one more time. Speak to me, lift it up. When the silence steals my voice, you understand me. Come on, church. You understand me. come to me in the valley of unknown you understand me you understand me cause you understand me God you understand me let's sing this chorus out so I throw all my cares before you my doubts and fears 
Understand me. Come on, church. You understand me. Lift it up this morning. To help me reach. So help me reach the faith that's underneath. You understand me. You understand me. You understand me, God. You understand me, sing it out. So I throw all my cares before you. My doubts and fear don't scare you. You're bigger than I thought you were. You're bigger than I Come on, you got to believe this is so I stop all negotiations with the God of all creation. You're bigger than I thought you were. You're bigger than I thought you were. Yes, you're bigger than I thought. Yes, you're bigger than I thought. I will. Father's hands lead the rest in the Father's hand. Lift it up, I will rest. Put it in there in the Father's hands. Yeah, lead the rest in the Father's hand. I will rest. Yes, I will rest in the Father's hands. Leave the rest in the Father's hands. Here's the last time. Yes, I will rest in the Father's hands. Doubts and fear don't scare you. You're bigger than I thought you were. You're bigger than I thought. So I stop all negotiations with the God of all creations. You're bigger than I thought you were. You're bigger than I thought. Yes, yes, you're bigger. Come on, lift it up. You got it. Leave the In the Father's hand. This is how I find my Leave the In the Father's hand. This is how I find my Father's hands, yeah. This is how I fight my battles in the 
the Father. Come on, church, we're just singing. This is how I find my balance in the Father's hands. This is how I find my balance in the Father's hands. So I throw all my cares before you. My doubts and fears don't scare you. You were, you're bigger than I thought. So I saw all negotiations with the God of all creations. You're bigger than I thought. You were, you're bigger than I thought. You're bigger than I thought. You were, you're bigger than I thought. One more time. You're bigger than I thought you were. You're bigger than I thought you were. Father God, we're so thankful for the opportunity that we have to be in your presence and to sing songs to your most holy name and to feel emotionally connected to your spirit this morning. We just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for the people who is visiting with us this morning. Visitors, members, 19 little ones. 19. That's the future of this church. That's the future of some church in this world. Is going to lead your people to you. So we thank you. And we praise you for this time that we have this morning that we can commune with you through music. And now specifically, specifically through the emblems that symbolizes your broken body and your blood spill for every one of us in here this morning. As we sing one more song to your most holy name, Father God, and as your church is crying out for whatever it is, it's just brokenness. If it's darkness. This morning we just want to say that we're sorry for every single thing that we've done. So help us that as we sing this song and as we meditate on the words and and if we can't remember the last time we, we got on our knees and we said sorry for being us. Father God, here's an opportunity that we have now. And I personally want to say I'm sorry for all the wrong that I've done. And please forgive me. And I know that your forgiveness is wide open. So, Father God, I I beg for your forgiveness this morning. We beg for your forgiveness this morning. We love you so much. And we thank you for your love and your guidance and your protection and your mercy and your grace. And we can go on and on and on and on. We love you so much. We thank you so much. I'm caught up in your presence. Come on, say. I just want to see. Come on, sing it out. Caught up in this holy moment, I never want to leave. No, I'm not here for blessing. Jesus, you don't know me. just want you yeah I just want you I just want you Lord I 
just want you. Let's go back to the first verse again. I'm caught up in your presence. Come on, church, sing it up. Because I just want to sit here at your feet. I'm caught up in this holy moment. Amen. I never want to leave. Oh, I'm not here for blessing. Jesus, you don't know me anything more than anything that you can do. I just want you. I'm sorry. Because I'm sorry when I've gone through the motions. I'm sorry when I just sang another song and take me back to where we started. I opened up my heart to you. That sounds so good. Let's keep going. Because I'm sorry when I've come with my agenda. I'm sorry when I forgot that you're enough. Take me back to where we started. I opened up my heart to you. Because I'm caught up in your presence. Sing it out. Because I'm caught up in your... Amen. Let's go, church. Lift it up. Caught up in this holy, this moment, I never want to leave. So I'm not here for blessing, Jesus, Jesus, you don't know me anything, more than anything that you can do, I just want you, let him know right now, church. Cause I just want you Sing it Nothing else Hey Nothing else Nothing else will do I just want you Nothing else Nothing else Nothing else will do I just want you and nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else will do. I just want you and nothing else. And nothing else. Nothing else will do. Sing it out. I just want us, yes, your feet. I'm caught up in this holy. I never want to leave. Oh, I, oh I'm not here for bless. You don't know me anything more than anything that you. I just want. Let's finish this off. Up. Let's sing that I wish sorry. Cause I'm sorry. 
this song we're gonna sing. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's sing it one more time and then we're done. Yeah, I'm sorry. Father God, we love you and we thank you for the opportunity once more. We thank you for prayer that we can commune with you. We thank you for the hearts of the people that's in this place this morning that just stand and sing and praise your most holy name. So take us into your hands of mercy at this time and just lead us into righteousness. And that everything we do and say will be done to the honor and to the glory to your most holy name. And as Brother Michael comes up with your word this morning, just anoint him with your Holy Spirit. Give him words from on high. And when time is no more, take us home with you to your kingdom. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. The church said, Amen. y'all see me? Okay. Uh, welcome to Dumble Christian Church. Uh, good morning. It was a very crisp morning indeed, wasn't it, coming in this morning? But the sun was shining and the leaves are all different colors, turning colors and stuff, and just the beauty of uh, coming into church this morning it was just beautiful. So we have a nice fall day today. It's good to see everybody here this morning. Um, and those that are joining us online, welcome. <clears throat> now, for those of you that were expecting uh, Michael Myers this morning, no, 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 not that Michael Myers, sorry, not that Michael Myers. There's a, there's a, a family member, uh, Michael Myers, some of y'all have, uh, know who I'm talking about, Michael Myers from uh, Ohio, uh, was uh, going to speak for me this morning because uh, this was the week that everybody went to Florida, right? Uh, everybody went to Florida. Everybody from Kentucky, from Casey County went to Florida this week. Um, but anyways, because of unseen circumstances and all that stuff, that didn't happen uh, for us anyways. But anyways, we changed things around, so I apologize that you have to hear me this morning instead of Michael Myers, but so Matt and I, uh, Matt Loper, Brother Matt, <clears throat> and I were up in the office this week, you'll have to excuse me, something's going on with my, with my voice, I put a piece of gum in, I'm hoping that that'll kick in here in a minute, um, Matt and I were up in the office this week, and 
we were talking about the ministry of DCC and just threw up a whole bunch of notes on the board. And if you go up there, you'll see all these sticky notes and uh, going everywhere and all these lists and just everything. It's just like uh, we threw up on the board and it's just everywhere. And which I got excited about because I am a list person. I like lists. I like things. I like to see it. I'm a visual person. I like to see it so that I can visualize it. So um, we were talking about the ministry stuff, and I was was talking about Sunday uh, today coming up, and I was I was like, well, you know, I get nervous. I do. That's no lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I'm like, I just get nervous because I want to say what I need to say. I want to um, uh, present the message that I need to present and what you need to hear. So I've been praying that God just help me to say what I need to hear. And Matt just says, just share your heart. I said, that's good advice. So that's what we're going to do this morning. So I ask you all to sit back, buckle in. You are going to experience some turbulence this morning, okay? Because we are about to enter into the mind that is Michael Monday. So y'all just bear with me this morning, okay? Before we do that, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, thank you so much for this day. This day that you've given us, thank you for every day that you give us. Thank you for every breath that you give us. We would not have our existence if it wasn't for you. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you for your mercies your forgiveness, your amazing grace. I pray that this morning the words that are getting ready to come out of my mouth will be from you, not from me. Lord, that um, I pray, Holy Spirit, that you just, uh, just be present here this morning. I know you are. And uh, may what I say just fall on the ears that needs, needs to hear it. And it's in Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. So I've been in this position of the care and missions director since the first of the year, since January. So I've been in this position for nine months. There's a lot of things that have happened in those nine months. Uh, there's been some things that I've, I'm, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. I'm still growing in this position. We're still uh, trying to see what it all involves and and everything, but there are some great things that have happened in that, so bear with me, here we go, uh, talking about the ministries that we support and the missions that we support, let's start with um, Team Expansion Japan, earlier this year, if you remember, we brought a young, uh, young couple came in, and we were able to send them to Japan, we were able to help send them to Japan, to where they could go into that country and love on people in the name of Jesus Christ. We uh, were able to help be a part of that. You all were able to be a part of that. And I thank you very much for that. UCSS, Uganda Counseling and Support Services, uh, great organization. Derek has already mentioned it. Uh, what's going on Thursday? Can anybody tell me? The banquet, yes, okay. Yeah, come and see me, Lacey, after I got some candy for you, okay? Uh, so, um, you, you want some candy? Okay, so the virtual banquet is Thursday, October the 13th. Um, the sign-out sheet, there, the cards are out, the boarding passes are out in the uh, welcome center, okay? So, uh, go out there, sign up for that, grab that before you leave this morning, okay? Uh, if you cannot, for whatever reason, view the virtual banquet on Thursday night, because I know that we're all busy and things happen, and um, if you cannot, please take some more information. There's all kinds of pamphlets and brochures and, and stuff that will um, show you what's going on in Uganda. 
in the villages of Baliki and Baluya and what that organization is doing. I've had the chance, I've had the privilege of going twice. And when you go in and um, you just see what's going on there, you get to see what's happening, you, um, it, it just changes your life. And when you go in and, and see that we've been able to be a part of giving them clean water, amen? We've been able to uh, help with medical um, um, stuff, and we've been able to um, show them how to cultivate the land and how to work the van land and, and grow crops. And But most importantly, we've been able to uh, be a part of them going in and present them with the gospel of Jesus Christ, meet a spiritual need in their lives. And... Um, they, you know, what the saying goes is that, that nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care. And we got, got to be a part of that. You got to be a part of that. And when I went in, and, and especially when you go into the schools, and uh, you hear the kids, you hear the kids singing praises to Jesus, singing praises to the Heavenly Father. It's just a tremendous thing, tremendous thing. UCSS, that was UCSS. Galilean Home Ministries is another organization that we have. Um, um, and they have the Blessing House that takes care of um, special needs students, and they get the love on them. They have the Angel House. Did I say that right? Angel House. And they love on babies, children where their mothers have been incarcerated. And they get to take them in, they get to love on them, and they get to, to, to love on them in the name of Jesus. And the hope is to, to reunite them with their mothers once their mother's uh, term has been, is over. So, and they do incredible things. Uh, yesterday was the quilt auction. Unfortunately, I didn't get to go. Did anybody... Get to go to the quilt auction? Anybody? Okay. Um, that's a tremendous thing. There, there's a lot of things in that ministry they have to do. Now, earlier this year, it was in May, we had a, an apartment fire in Liberty. And one of the organizations that stepped up was the Galilean Home Ministries. And they and I called them and stuff and said, hey, we have an apartment fire. Several families have been affected. Can you help out and stuff? And they sent bags and bags of clothes for these people. And they stepped out. So, Galilean Home Ministries, great. But you get to be a part in that. You have got to, when you give to them and stuff, you get to be a part in these situations, in these, um, in, in showing people the love of Jesus. Derek's already mentioned the Casey County Food Pantry that we get to be a part of. Tomorrow is commodities. At the Ag Expo Center, yes, a lot of food is coming in. We could use your help. We could use your help volunteering, passing out food. Um, not only do we do that uh, once, twice a month, um, they also provide food uh, for our food pantry. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they also provide backpack food for the backpack program and on Thursdays I get to take the food to the schools so that they can give it to the students that would otherwise not have food to eat on the weekends when they're not at school you guys get to be a part of that there's also a fellow brother in Christ that works out of the soup kitchen and he gets phone calls throughout the week and people saying, hey, I need some food. I'm running, I'm running low on food. And he takes them food out. He also provides a meal on Fridays between 2 and 4, a hot meal for the residents of Casey County. And he does that. That's all a part of Casey County Food Pantry. You guys get to be a part of that. Through the week, uh, and then on, on Mondays, I also get to go to the Dollar General stores 
and I get to pick up the donations there that would otherwise be thrown in the dumpster. But Feeding America out of Elizabethtown has partnered with Case County Food Pantry, which we're a part of, that we help support. And we, I get to go and pick up those donations, and I get to distribute those out to people. It's stuff that's been damaged or uh, otherwise the product's still good, but, you know, damaged or maybe it's getting ready to go out of date. Dollar General can't sell it. And they were throwing all this stuff in the dumpster. Now we are able to go and give it out to people. You guys get to do uh, get to be a part of that. There's been phone calls. People call in, and they're hurting. And there's a need, and you all don't get to. Uh, you all weren't there when I talked to uh, a mother on the phone that had gone under uh, cancer surgery, and was asking for help. Actually, she wasn't asking for help, but we, we went in and said, how can we help? How can we be of assistance? Found out that, that there was needs in the home and, and, and other needs. We got to address those needs. We got to give. And then you weren't there when you saw the tears in her eyes saying, thank you. Thank you so much. You didn't get the phone call, or you didn't get to hear the phone call as someone calling and saying, hey, we need some help with our electric bill this month because my husband has had hospice called in. We called hospice in for my husband. I've had to quit work. I've had to step, step back from my job to take care of him, and it's made things pretty tight. So we need some help. And then when I call and tell her, say, hey, we're going to help you out. We're going to do that. You guys get to be a part of that. When you give to DCC, you get to be a part of that. Did you know that right now while we're having service here and I'm speaking that there is a, a bond land going on. We have a, we have a program of bond land right here in our church. Uh, for the kids to come and, and what's going on in there, they get to they get to play games, they get to do crafts, they get to they get snacks, which I'm a little bit jealous. Uh, but no, we we have snacks out here, so uh, that's okay. But most importantly, they are being loved on, and they are being told that Jesus Christ loves them, that they have a heavenly Father that loves them. Amen. Does anybody know uh, Miss Heather Loper? Does anybody know Miss Heather Loper? Do y'all know who I'm talking about? <laughs> Some of you don't know who, maybe who I'm talking about because you haven't seen her in here. I, I asked her, I said, when was the last time that you got to be in uh, service on Sunday morning? She goes, I think it's been about nine years. <laughs> because she is every Sunday morning, she's back here running the program and she's got some volunteers and stuff. She would love to have some more volunteers. She would love to have you if you have a heart for kids. Go see Miss Heather Loper. She would love to have you there. But that's a program that's going on. Dr. Wake, did you know that right now over in Up Street, uh, that's our children's uh, atmosphere. The little kids are over there and they're they're dancing and they're jumping around and they're they're singing and they're they're singing songs to who? To our Heavenly Father, to Jesus. And they're being told that Jesus Christ loves them. You get to be a part of that. But on Wednesday nights, Inside Out, Wednesday nights, Inside Out, is the youth program for our youth. And there are youth that come from all around Casey County that may not necessarily come to Dumbo on Sunday mornings, but they show up on Wednesday nights. It's an opportunity for those uh, teenagers to be loved on. And I have also witnessed that throughout the week, that Brother Matt is, is able to speak to some that come in with questions or concerns. And um, One teenager came in one day a couple weeks ago, and, it, and she had learned, and I guess at school and in classes and stuff, and um, 
hey, you know, the earth has been here for millions and millions of years, and I'm here for just so many years, and then the earth is probably going to be here for many years to come, possibly. She said, and that got her to thinking, and she goes, if I'm only here for this many years amongst all of these years that the earth existed, now, now whether you believe that the earth has been here for millions of years, that, that's beside the point. What she was focused on is she was like, what am I going to be able to contribute while I'm here in this short little span? And I got to witness Matt bring her over and said, you have significance because God created you and God knew that you would be here in Casey County, in Dunville, at this specific time, at, you know, in, in history. And he has great plans for you. And I saw him speak life into that teenager. And there's other situations to where they come and they talk and they uh, get to ministering to them. There's other situations where I've seen uh, Brother Derek throughout the week, you know, be able to uh, love on people and get a phone call and say, yeah, I'll be right there. And, and he goes and, and he gets to speak to people, gets to speak life into people. Let me tell you something this morning. You have a great, great uh, senior pastor and family life pastor, Brother Derek and Brother Matt. Can we give them a hand? Can we give them a hand? They are, they are awesome, and they truly, truly do care. And, and I get to see that because I'm, I'm here through the week. And, and, well, they, and there's some things that, that, I, that I don't get to see or that I don't know about or whatever, but, but that's okay. But I know that things are going on every day, and needs are being met. Life is being spoken to that. And guess what? Guess what? Even though that you may not be here through the week, you get to be a part of that. You are a part of that. When you give to DCC, you get to be a part of this ministry. I get phone calls and, and, and I get to go out and uh, meet people and there's needs. There's, all, there's, there's many needs in this community. And it, and it helps me, or it, it just blesses me when I know that I get to help somebody that's in need, whatever that need may be. Now, it's not necessarily always a financial need, but ultimately at the end of the day, it's trying to meet a spiritual need and loving on them with the love of Jesus, amen? And just pouring into their lives. That's what I get to do. And I have realized that I have the greatest job in the world. Now there are, there are struggles. It can get a little overwhelming sometimes. But I get to love on people. And that's great. And you do too. And you get to be a part of it. And you might be saying... Well, Michael, are you, are you asking for money? Are you standing up here asking for money? You're doggone right I am. <laughs> You're doggone right I am. Now listen, it's not, it's not about the money. It's about the heart, okay? Have you noticed that we do not pass uh, collection plates around here? I don't know if y'all have noticed that or not, but we do not because we don't want there to be any obligation there. There are two boxes on either side of the door as you walk out that says offering in it. We ask that you give as God has placed it on you, okay? But I want you to know that in doing so, when you do give, you are giving to the ministry of, of this church and we're reaching out into communities. There is even people that, that we have reached that are outside the county. And I've been able to be a part of that. I've been able to uh, call a partnering church in another county and say, hey, 
we have a fellow, we have a call in and stuff. Can you love on this one? He said, yes, send them our way. Send them over that way. And that's what it's about. It's about coming together because we are what? We are the body of Christ. We are all together. Many members, one body. You guys get to be a part in this ministry. And I thank you. I thank you. I'm, not, I'm sure Brother Derek thanks you. Brother Matt thanks you. When y'all came in this morning, did y'all get to see Miss Ashley's smiling face this morning? I know I'm putting you on the spot, dear. Listen. Miss Ashley, everybody turn around and look at Miss Ashley. Stand up, wave at her. <laughs> Miss Ashley uh, greets us. She's the, she's the director of guest services and stuff. Miss Ashley, would you like some volunteers? Would you love to have some volunteers, okay? She puts, she's the one that puts out the snacks for the adults, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I went to her and I said, hey, you know, a bottle land gets snacks. What about us? You know, she said, I'll hook you up. So she hooks us up, and so she provides that. So, so thank you, Miss Ashley. Everybody give it up for Miss Ashley. Now, I know I'm leaving people out, and I apologize, and I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to share my heart with you. There's so much that goes on here. The worship service, or I mean the, 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 the worship team, the praise team and stuff. Give it up for them. I mean, that, 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 that's incredible. And as they're up here, and as they were singing this morning and, and singing the songs and stuff, and I'm back here and, and just singing out and singing along with them and stuff and I'm, I'm like um, I don't even know if I need to speak this morning I mean they're just like the music uh, bring in the presence of God and just uh, you know we could all we probably went home blessed from the music and stuff and Mr. Marcus is back here he's probably not going to step out but Marcus Richards is back here give it up for him and I know Mr. Brian back here uh, helps helps out with that give it up for Brian there's a ton of people. I know that there's a lot of volunteers. I'm looking out in the congregation, and I know what you do and stuff, and I see Mick and Donna here, and Mick helps out with Upstreet sometimes, don't you? And, and uh, we had a young lady to, to call and say, hey, I'd like to come down. She has a, uh, a child with autism, and, and I'm like, well, are we equipped to do that? So Michael Tucker, my son-in-law that helps out with Upstreet, said, we'll get somebody. We'll get somebody to take care of him and stuff like that. And he called on Mick here, and Mick said, yeah, I'll take care of him and stuff. Come in and loved on him, loved on that child, and thank you, Mick, for doing that. And as I look around, and I, I, again, I don't mean to leave anybody out because I know what you do and what you stepped up doing, and, and there's a, what? Tom. Tom. Tom Kirby. Your name has been mentioned. How are you, Tom? Come up here, Tom. Come up here. Do y'all know Tom Kirby? Give it up for Tom. How you doing, Tom? Doing great. This is Pat. Y'all know Pat? Tom Kirby lives right across the road here. You keep an eye on Dumble, don't you? Quite a bit. Wednesday mornings, men's prayer breakfast. Yes. This man cooks for us, men that come in. You fix stuff, don't you, for us? Sausage, egg, biscuit, and stuff like that. You, you hook us up, don't you? Sometimes. And stuff, okay, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> then there was one Wednesday not too long ago that uh, what happened, we, weren't, uh, we, ran out of, we ran out of eggs and biscuits and stuff, didn't we? So I left so, the freezer door open. <laughs> okay. He said somebody left the freezer door open in the kitchen. And, it, you know, a lot of the food had to be thrown away. Did we ever find out who, who that was? <laughs> I'm going to take the blame for that. I had been in the freezer. Apparently, I did not make sure that the freezer doors were closed. So I will take the blame for that. 
But what happened? You stepped up and you went over to Sarah Sue's here and you brought us in the donuts. Oh, Has yes. everybody been over to Sarah Sue's? I never will forget that. Is that okay? Huh? I never will forget that. You never will forget that. Oh, that was so good. It was. Thank you for doing that. Everybody give it up for Tom Curry. Thank you for what you do. It's people like this, okay? Heather Loper, Ashley Neat, Tom Kirby, Mick, Michael Tucker, Matt, Derek. I, I, again, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be leaving anybody out. I know Marshall and Miss Stella and those that leave worship and Matt Moore that stands back here and, and, and Derek Fan, Matt Fan, and, and just everybody that's involved in everything that goes on here. What have I left out? What have I left out? Inside out. So, and Marcus back here and Brian that helps out with the production and any other programs that go on throughout the week. I mean, there's all kinds of things. Ministry is happening every day. Men, yes, thank you. There is a men's and women's Bible study class Sunday mornings at 930. They would love to have you. Love to have you. They bring ladies in and what I, and, and gentlemen in, and what I've heard, they st they study scripture and stuff, and you're you're loved on, you're loved on and growing and and just reaching out to others. That's what the family. Uh, that's what we're about, right? That's what we're about. We come together. We need to love on each other. We need to reach out to one another and love on one another in the name of Jesus. Okay. I was going to say something. Okay, what I need y'all to do, <laughs> what I need y'all to do is raise your right hand or your left. It don't matter. Raise them both. Okay? Okay. Say, I solemnly promise that when I walk out these doors this morning, I'm going to make my way to the Welcome Center. And I'm going to sign, I'm going to register for connections groups. Amen. You got to do it. You promised. You promised. You got to do it. You got to head out here and you got to sign up for connections. Group. What's that going to do? What's that going to do? You're going to get connected. You're going to get connected with others that are like-minded. And when you come into these groups and when you meet, you get to pray for one another. You get to talk to one another. You get to lift one another up before your Heavenly Father. Amen. It's going to be a great thing. Great things are coming. Okay. Great things are coming. So when I was talking to Matt and we were talking about all of this and we had all these post it notes everywhere and we were talking about all the ministries that are going on and how can we do them better. I said, Matt, this is great. This is good. It gives me a visual. This is great. But what is the end game? What is the end game throughout all of it? And it is about people. It is about people that God has placed in our lives. Hey, Marcus, throw that scripture up in Matthew 22. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Who is your neighbor? Look to your right. Look to your left. Look behind you. Look in front of you. That's your neighbor. The people that we work with. The people that we see in the grocery stores. The people that we go to class with. At school. That's your neighbor. Oh God, what does it say on the back of my shirt? How do you love God? By loving people. Amen. And how you love God, uh, how you love people without loving God, having a relationship with God. And throw first John three up there, Marcus. Thank you. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives. For our brothers and sisters. Verse 17. If anyone 
has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? Dear children, let us not love with words or speech but with actions and in truth. Amen? And in, in, in the Acts, he looks at us and says, we must help the weak, remembering the words that Jesus himself said, that our Lord Jesus himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Amen. This past Thursday, we heard some uh, fire trucks go down. Heard some sirens going off and stuff like that. And a little bit later, there was a few more that went down. I'm like, well, there's, there's something going on. Um, must be a big fire or something's going on in the area. A little while later, we learned that um, one of our own, one of our own families, uh, Willie and Valerie Salyer's house was on fire. And had burnt, and they lost everything. So we went down and got in the van and went down and uh, got down there. And it was uh, from one side of the trailer, to, uh, the mobile home to the other, was nothing but ash. And fire uh, consumed it. And many of y'all might have uh, got on the app. I, Listen, listen, I encourage you, I encourage you, download the church app on your phone. That's how we stay connected. That's how word gets out and prayer requests are on there. Download that on your phone if you haven't already, okay? So we can be connected and we reach out uh, to our own, okay? Reach out to our family. Uh, Valerie, D, will y'all come up here? Where'd Willie go? Hey, Willie! What? The snacks. <laughs> He's out getting those snacks. They talked. I shouldn't have mentioned it. I, I shouldn't have. Okay. Uh, how are you? As, as good as can be. A mess. Yeah. 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 Um, they have two boys too. John Michael, which is six, right? Yeah. And Tanner, yeah, he's, uh, four. He's, he's four. Willie and the boys were there that day. There's Willie. Get on up here, bud. Okay, I know where he needs to go. Uh, I got down there, and you said that you were outside talking to a neighbor, and, and the boys were out with you. No, the boys, they was in the house. They were in the house. Yeah, they was in the house. They came with tablets. They was cartoon children. But they came out? Yeah. yeah they and then you out. told them to come running kind out. of get back inside. Yeah, but I told them, I said, get back in the house. And uh, this my, my neighbor, he was fixing to leave that morning, came to get my neighbor, his dog, and come get the sheriff. I told him, I said, get back in the house. Well, we can't, Daddy. It's, it's smoky in there. I looked up at the trailer, and there's smoke coming out the back of it. Yeah. So I ran, grabbed a water hose, and I was praying. Trying to save something, yeah. And uh, it was just so hot I couldn't see nothing. So I just had to back out and just give the children just love on them. But the good news is, is that nobody was hurt. No. So we're very, very thankful for that. Yeah. But you did lose everything. We did. Clothes, we did. E everything. Yeah. Some things that can't be replaced. Yeah, food can't be replaced. And yeah. and a few grandma's sentimental food, things. Sentimental. So now we have the opportunity, church, church family, to love on one of our own, okay? Some people have responded. Some people responded right off when we, when we put the word out on the app and on the, on the Facebook page. And people have donated. And we ask that whatever you can, whatever you can donate stuff. Um, yeah, I will say this. Um, we're kind of starting to run out. They're staying, staying with my mom. Um, they're staying with Miss D over here. We're, right uh, now. we're starting to kind of run out of money, so I'm not sure I know the answer to what 
Yeah. Okay. Did you want to tell you a minute about your time thing? Yeah. 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 You get a lot of clothes. You get a lot of clothes, so you're getting in. Okay, that's good. That's good, because we need clothes, right? Yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's a good thing. We felt so good this morning to wake up and be able to put clothes on, because, I mean, you don't do that. Because all you had were the clothes that you were wearing when the, when the fire started. Yeah, I, I, I was up there for, I don't know, about 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, there was some knocker here. He came to us with a paper and just gave me just a slap. I mean, you don't know how to get paid out there, but, you know, when you ain't got nothing, I'm going to tell you. But it wasn't me. It was it was them. Right. It was them. Yeah, Guys, you got, to, you got to be a part of providing shoes for this family. Now, I'll tell you another thing. We went in there, and we went down to Polly. I said, hey, y'all need shoes. Let's get you some shoes. There was uh, a young lady there, uh, one of the helpers out, and I won't mention her name, but anyway, she said, I'm going to get the boys shoes, and you take care of them. I said, thank you so much. So people in our community are already stepping up, and they were helping out, yeah, and I'm thankful for that. But because of your generosity and when you give to Denver, you get to be a part of the ministry of reaching out to families like Willie and Valerie and John Michael and Tanner and Miss D over here. Um, you get to love on them. You get to love on them and we get to love on them and we get to show them the love of Christ. Amen? Um, what would you like to say, ma'am? Because they're doing exactly what we had trained them to do. The fire alarms went off. We said, go to the fire service room and pull them up and stay. They went to the fire service room and pull them upstairs. That one got stuck up there. Yeah. So, I mean, they're doing exactly what they were supposed to do. That's good. And so, thank you for the schools. Yeah, thank you for the schools. Thank, thank you for everybody. The kids when there's fires. Yeah. That's why it's a big thing. Because, yeah. I mean, kids going to be ready for stuff that, you know, we done fire drills at school. We done had the fire drills and I'd sit there and smoke and catch grass because they start the fire. And, okay, this is a real one, go. I mean, they're going somewhere with it. But, I mean, if you don't have your kids ready for something, yeah. wake them up and introduce them to it. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, could you all use some gift cards? I, I, I could use <laughs> Maybe some gas cards. Uh, I mean, you know, for yeah. for gas, anything, uh, anything like that. Anything, um, anything smaller. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So so space is limited and stuff like that, and and the household items and stuff like that will come later. Yeah. But if anybody would love to give a gift card, gift card. it would it would yeah. you know, Walmart, uh, Dollar General, or anything. you know any, anything yeah. like that. I, I, it would go a long I, way. I, Goodwill. I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, well, there you go. You're looking good. Thank you. You look good. I feel good. I really thank want to thank you. you guys here today. For these babies. Yeah, yeah, my cousin from Indiana, uh, they come down and uh, they brought us a bunch of coats and stuff. And Pretty much just read us a, a, a blank check, which it wasn't a blank check. He's like, get anything and everything that you want. You know? So we got coats. So we, we got coats, clothes, clothes, and, clothes and, 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 and I mean, you know, the boys you don't, you don't know how to thank somebody. And uh, I think I appreciate even I don't know how to say thank you, but I think I appreciate what they told us and how I love them. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know? And it, it worked real awesome. Because like I said, you don't know how to do it. you go through something like that, but the generosity of, of you guys and my cousin, like I said, that was, that was a godsend thing, I, I, 
teach those to know how if you think about it, get it. If you if you think you might want it tomorrow, get it. <laughs> and and uh, he he was you know thank God he was my only children and they were just a wealth to me and I am very blessed to this day. That's great. That's great. Brother Derek, do you care to come up here? Real quick with me. <laughs> we want to give you a big hand. Thank you for your service to this great church. Uh, one thing that we want to do is just to thank you guys for your leadership. I know that we can't do much to do with you guys at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so, in John Michael's mind, 53 is pretty close to 99. He was rounded up. So he was rounded up. <laughs> All right. Brother Derek, if you don't care, uh, lead us in prayer to, to end the service today. And if you all would, just lift your hand and, and, and direct it towards this way and just pray for this, this family and stuff. And again, and again, if there is a need, okay, and I'm asking you to do this, if there is a need in our church family that I might not be aware of, Brother Derek may not be aware of, Matt and I may not be aware of, please let us know. Please see me after church and let me know, okay? But I, I ask you to do that. And please, please pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for Brother Derek. Pray for Matt. Um, pray for this family throughout the week. And we're going we're gonna to love on them and just keep on loving on them until you get tired of us loving them. How's that? Okay. Because you are love, and we just want to give uh, the credit to you, God, for just to show us through Jesus how much you desperately love us. Uh, bless us as we come over this week to start this month, and I ask you, God, that you prepare for us. Let us do the same for the people around us and for the world that you gave your son for. Help us to go into the world in such a way that it would honor you, Jesus, that our kids would be put glorified to you, and that we don't point to the spirit. from you, Father, to raise up good, good gifts. Uh, you have given us all things. Help us, Father, to be your people who get this right and give them back to you and then let that be a volunteer at the heart of all of this to follow your love. We love this place because you first loved us. We thank you so much for the opportunity that you've given to us to get to know you through your son. And Father, we want to leverage that opportunity to make your son known to this world so that they can know him too and know that through your son every single step of the way and help us accomplish that with loving you, Father, and loving people around us as well. We praise you and we honor you and we give you all praise and glory for it. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. God bless you and have a wonderful rest of your day. God bless you.